Hello, hello, hello. This might be a short one, but it's a good one because I was talking about it the other day with someone and I think it's actually probably something I feel like I should have covered at this point. Because with self-help, I feel like, you know, you can kind of get lost in the small details and trying to pick up all this new stuff and all this like really specific stuff that doesn't really really improve much, maybe it gives you a 1% improvement, whether it's, I don't know, super specifying your workout or picking up a new specific food and, and the exact amount of calories, blah, blah, blah. We don't need that. I think self-help is best executed when it's these foundational, big motion things that are just foundations for what you do. Uh, and and the, one, two of the most foundational things, and the two things I want to talk about here is, because talking about someone else, but sleep and exercise. I know you've probably heard it like a kajillion times, but I think there's, there's probably a reason you've heard it like a kajillion times, because these two things are just so... <laughs> So, so, so foundational to everything. Uh, I'll give you a bit of a story. Um, last year in 2021, I moved house, came to this new place, and within the first week, I, it felt like I had chronic fatigue out of nowhere. Bizarre stuff. Uh, it re literally just started hitting me in the afternoon. I just, it was weird. I, I'd be at my desk, even if I was doing something like writing, like not even physically intensive, I'd have to just lay down. I, I, like, I literally, it was really intense, and I went to a, a neurologist, I went to doctors, and not, nothing was really giving me an answer. And it was really, it was really just actually draining my life. I had this super bad fatigue. Uh, even when I was out sometimes, like during the day, I just had to like lay down, like sit and lay down. I was like, I can't, I can't do this right now. Um, and it was really, really bad. Nothing was really working. No one could diagnose it. I don't know what was happening to me for a bit there. But I do know that early this year, when I started kind of fixing things in my life, uh, things got a lot better pretty damn quickly within a month. But um, yeah, I think probably the most important thing is sleep. Uh, if you haven't already, I think one of the most important things you can do is maybe not even have a set time you go to sleep at, but at the very least, it's just wake up at the same time every day. And this is an important one, because I know the audience I'm talking to right now is probably more of a, a gamer type, you know, where we kind of normalize the fact it's like, oh, just played Fortnite till 3am, fuck yeah. And I don't, like, I used to do that a lot. I was, back when I just finished high school, I was staying up till 2, 3am, doing just basically nothing, watching just nothing on YouTube or playing stupid games really late at night and regretting it immediately the next day. So I'd, I'd, I'd pretty much, you know, I'd stay up till like 2, 3am, go to bed, be on my phone for another half an hour, go to sleep, wake up at midday with just mind fog, grogginess, feeling like absolute shit. And then, you know, I'd wake up and go straight on my phone again and then to my desk and like repeat the shit over and over. Horrible cycle. And I'd highly recommend you don't do that. And one of the best ways you can do that is just setting a time you get up every day. Personally for me, it's easy for me to say this. I have like, I, I work my own hours, so I can work my own sleep schedule pretty easily, but I get up 8 a.m., every day. And the reason I was thinking about today is that for TF Connect, I actually to get up at 6.30 a.m., which isn't that much earlier. Because I've literally gone up at 8 a.m. perhaps every day for like nine months, getting up an hour earlier, that really, it just really messed with me. And I realized, Jesus, it just, consistent sleep is so, it's kind of OP. It's a bit broken, guys. I need to update in the patch notes and nerf it because just getting up at the same time every day, just it just makes everything so consistent. And it just, it puts you in a good routine to start things off. I don't know if you stick to a schedule, it's just almost impossible, really. Like, I don't know how you structure your day around not getting up at a consistent time. And I don't know, you hear it so much. I just think the health benefits are just so obvious. But okay, I guess I got too carried away with that. But what I would do is I would set a time to get up at and work backwards from that. I'm a big sleep enthusiast personally. I sleep nine hours. I try to get nine hours, no less than eight. So it's anywhere between eight and nine hours. So what I do is for whatever your days, if you have school, you probably have to get up at like what? Six, six thirty, seven. And I'd work backwards from that. Uh, eight hours at the very least. And remember, eight hours in bed isn't necessarily eight hours of sleep, so you should probably shoot for at least like eight and a half hours because you might be tossing and turning for half an hour before you actually, you know, get into like a deep REM cycle, whatever you call that sleep shit. And a sleepologist, whatever the fuck you call them. But so yeah, for me personally, I'm going to bed anywhere between 11 to 12. I have been trying to edge towards 11 because I just, nine hours of sleep, oh, just, it's so good. I can't honestly just, there's a reason people talk so much about sleep, guys. It's just so, it is probably the most single, most foundational thing. I think that you can do to improve your life. It's just set a time, get eight to nine hours, uh, and and just just aim for that. I will admit that I've never had an issue breaking my sleep schedule. Some people have really messed up sleep schedules, and it can be hard to kind of um like readjust them. You sort of have to go through a pretty shitty few days or maybe even a week of adjusting and like probably getting less sleep than you'd like and pushing it back slowly or pushing it forward rather. And yeah, that can be pretty shit, not gonna lie, but I just think oh, it's so worth that week of pain because potentially like a week of resetting your sleep schedule could lead to a lifetime of just so much more productivity feeling so much better and just so, so much good stuff. So that's like the first foundational thing I, I would just so highly recommend. Uh, and when I started sleeping at a consistent time, getting up at 8 a.m., my fatigue really started to get in check. Now, this could be me speaking nonsense because I don't know. I never got my fatigue officially diagnosed, but I can tell you that within a month of fixing my, a lot of aspects of my life health-wise, this fatigue thing just evaporated, literally just 
went away. So yeah, number one, sleep. Aim for eight to nine hours. I really think you need minimum eight if you're doing seven. I can't function on seven. I feel like shit when I get up. So I'd really, really, I'd really encourage you to shoot from eight. Because at the time you have to get up, work backwards, stick to it, and you will be in such a good position. It's one of those foundational things you just need. Uh, and number two, number two, you, come on, you probably know what I'm going to say. You know what I'm going to say, don't you? It's sleep and exercise. Come on now. Uh, when I want to say exercise. I actually want to be really specific about this because I don't think you know, if, you, if you're a bit of a gamer, you're not in shape, you're not doing much physically, I am perhaps the single biggest proponent of walking on planet Earth. I walk a silly amount. I'm starting to phase more into running because um, what I usually do is I wake up, I walk my dog, that's like 35 minutes. Then at about midday, I go for a 45 minute walk or an hour long walk or an hour and 10 minute walk. Uh, and then again at 4 to 5 p.m. Now I'm going for a run, but it's just like I, I walk about 16,000 steps a day. And I just think, oh, walking is probably one of the most holistic, great things you can do. Let me, let me give you, let me give you the sales pitch for walking, okay? Number one, it's a very light form of exercise. If you can't run, if you can't lift weights, if you're straight, you know, like you're, you're not in shape. Basically anyone who has able legs can start walking, even if it's a small amount. That's the first thing. It's not the most rigorous form of exercise. It's repeatable. It's good. Number two, it gets you sunlight. Oh, the sun is so good. One, it feels good. You love that warmth. Two, it's just so good for just setting up your bodily systems to function well and being you know, just being able to function throughout the day. Uh, it also helps with sleep if you get sun early in the day. If you wake up and get sun first thing, that's like great for setting up like what you're, you're I don't know, I'm, again, not a sleepologist, but it just like sets your body in check to know when to go to bed. When it starts getting dark, whoa, you start getting tired. Crazy stuff. So two getting sunlight, sunlight's just a great thing. It just makes you feel like you're in the real world and existing if you're inside a lot. Uh, and number three, it's just great. It's just good for clearing your head, mental health, thinking over things. It's just, it's just a good time to be to be out. You're kind of just exerting yourself a little bit and you just kind of filter through thoughts. You can get your life in check, sort of think things through. And I think that's just another great thing. Uh, and fourthly, you can either do thinking or fourthly, you can listen to a podcast, even music if you want, an audio book. And you can actually use it as productive time to learn something, pick something up, a new skill. Maybe not a new skill, but just learn about a new idea. And that's just great. I just think, I just think walking is such a multifaceted good thing. And also, if you start exercising, you do something more intense, it's probably better. But if, even if it's just walking, you get that sunlight, you're exerting yourself. That feeds into sleep, baby. You're sleeping better. You're exerting yourself physically. So by the end of the day, you're like, oh my God, I'm actually tired and don't really want to stay up till 3 a.m. on Fortnite Battle Royale, dropping tilted towers, dropping noobs, okay? It just gets your brain in check. So maybe just start with walking. I walk a comical amount. Uh, I've actually added more intense stuff because I think I walk too much. I should make some more, some challenging cardio stuff. But yeah, just walking, walking and sleeping. I'm a big proponent. I really would encourage it. And I don't think either of them, hear me out, are particularly hard to fix. And I know it's like some people are like, like they're indoors a lot and like it is really tough. Like even a five minute walk around the block is pushing it. But like just try and start with something super small uh, and just slowly build on it for a week straight. Maybe walk five minutes. So the next week, maybe walk seven minutes, you know, and just slowly build it. Build the habit first and then start adding to it. You don't want to like go too intense and burn yourself out out of, you know, you start doing, I don't know, you're running an hour every day when you should be running, I don't know, like... <laughs> 10 minutes and then walking 30 minutes, right? You'll burn yourself out quickly and then you'll be back at square one before you know it. So it's just important to get the habit building with something easy and slowly add to it more and more the more time goes on. And then again, yeah, feeds back into sleep and just, oh, if you get those two things in check, that's probably two of the biggest things I could preach on this channel. When you get your sleep in check, when you start exercising, you are going to feel so much better just in every aspect of your life. You'll, you won't have that mental fog. You'll just feel more energetic. Uh, it might cure your fatigue if you're me. Don't, no, that's not medical advice. It might not be. That, that, you could go to doctors. And everything just starts clicking. When you get more sleep, when you're exercising, I just find my life just functions so much more smoothly. And I think it's really the two foundational things I recommend. Before you concern your stuff with meditation, meditating, journaling, optimizing your workout routine, uh, finding new productivity methods. That's all the small stuff. That does that really, if you don't have your like pri- like your, your, your foundation set, all this other shit doesn't really matter. Like it'll help, but it's not going to help you nearly as much as nailing the foundations. After that, you can concern yourself with diet. Maybe you want to pick up, after you get that ordered for like maybe a month, you get the exercise and sleep going. Maybe you pick up meditating for a minute every day and you build up on that. I don't know. It's up to you, but I really think you should nail those foundations before you try to do anything fancy. That's, I think it's a, a, probably a very useful thing I'd recommend to you. Uh, it's helped me tremendously, helped me with my fatigue, might help you with your health issues if you just might start feeling better. And yeah, that's also, that's basically what I wanted to cover because I was talking to someone about it earlier this week and I realized, you know what, maybe I'm talking about two specific things. Maybe we should just strip it all back and talk about something easy, something foundational, something I think is great and something I would highly recommend you do. That's all I wanted to talk about. I hope you're doing well. I got back for, I had a really good run. I, had a re- I just felt really good on it. That's also another reason I want to talk about it. I almost skipped the run and I was like, no. 
because I had TF Connect this morning, so I had to wake up early, as I said. Fuck my whole routine for the day. So I was like, oh, I want to run. But then I was like, fuck it, we're going to run. And I ran, and I'm so thankful I ran, and that made me motivated. Like, fuck it, let's get a, let's get a second channel video out. Everything just starts clicking when you sleep well and you exercise. Even though I didn't sleep well this morning, uh, ignore that. Uh, I sleep well every other day. <laughs> But yeah, that's what I want to say. Get your foundations in check before you start doing the fancy stuff. I think that's very important. I uh, hope you're doing well. I'm doing well. And yeah, that's all, that's all from me. So, farewell, Elite Level Gamer.